Nope, it's going to be a double. They're going to call it for now a double. Well, we may see Clint Hurdle emerge and ask for a review. Got to come out. They're calling it for now a double. Did the fan reach over? Calling it fan interference. Or did it clear? So for the time being, it's a double for Garrett Jones as Hurdle will go to the second base umpire, Jim Reynolds. And okay, what can we see here? They're going to review it. Regardless of what we see, they are going to review it. Tim Welke and the umpiring crew will head down into the runway, into the tunnel. What do you the green, see? The green sleeves. I think it's a double. It's so close to that yellow line. You see the chain link fence and then the yellow line above it. It has to clear that. Look at Dan Potash seeing if he can find something out. It's so tough when they reach across the yellow line. That's a double. I'll be I'll be shocked if they overrule that. But we'll see again Tim Walkie the crew chief. They go down there and review it. You see the guy in the green sleeves reaching over. It goes back to New York. Yep. Everything goes back to New York. Yep. Pirates have had uh, several plays reviewed since instant replay was first brought on the scene in 2008. This is the 10th play in Pirates history that has been reviewed. Boy, it's close, Greg. It's close. Is, but is it is it overwhelming, Steve? You think the evidence tells you that the umpire didn't make the initial right call? Does that overrule it? I don't think so. It's close. We'll see. It's they come out, they emerge, and drum roll. It's a double. Okay. Stays at second. I, I frankly think that's the right call. For now, replay in baseball used to determine fair or foul, fan interference, or ball leaving the playing field. Managers can't demand a replay review decision to reverse a call is made by the crew chief. After review, the crew chief returns to the field, signals the final call. Decisions made by the crew chief final can't be argued or protested by either team. 